Good morning, David. How are you doing? I'm doing great. How are you? Thank Good. you for having us. Well, this is such an important topic here and something I want to learn about because I don't know what myocarditis is. So let's talk about what that is and how critical it is to actually uh, people under the age of 35, especially men. It, it is a very serious condition. Myocarditis is essentially inflammation of the heart muscle. It's primarily caused by a viral infection. You can think of the influenza virus, for example. It, for reasons that are not fully understood, invades the heart of predominantly young men in their 20s, and that activates the immune system to try to do its job, which is to kill the virus, and it ends up attacking heart tissue, which can lead to scarring in the heart. And in persistent cases, young men can develop heart failure, which is typically a condition of a more advanced age, secondary to obesity, diabetes, and hypertension, whereas these young men that are affected by myocarditis, uh, they're typically athletic, they're typically uh, very healthy, and it is, uh, tragically, uh, still the leading cause of sudden cardiac death in predominantly men under the age of 35. Wow, this is so crazy because you do hear about these guys who are in shape, you know, they're young and stuff, and then they, they die from a heart attack. You're like wondering why, and this is one of the reasons right here. Um, so what kind of treatment options are there for men to, to take care of this? That's one of the great challenges. There is currently no standard of care. So there's no FDA drug with a label for the treatment of myocarditis or acute myocarditis today. Uh, so basically, uh, it's supportive care, uh, but when it becomes persistent, uh, these young men can develop fulminant heart failure. It can necessitate lengthy ICU stays, and in severe cases, it can be a precursor to the requirement for heart transplant. And sadly or tragically, uh, many of them can die suddenly. Uh, you'll hear about uh, athletes that die suddenly during sport. That is more than likely a phenomenon called acute myocarditis. Wow. Let's talk about your company and the motivation for you guys to get to trying to create the first ever FDA approved therapy uh, for this and the benefits of it. Sure, so we're developing anti-inflammatory and antifibrotic agents. So what happens when the virus invades the heart muscle, you get an immune system activation which can cause inflammation and scarring in the heart. Uh, we've shown it across a number of experiments that our drug is uh, profoundly cardioprotective. It modifies a number of inflammatory heart mediators uh, that can be very dangerous if left um, un unchecked, for example. And that's really the, <clears throat> the purpose of our drug is to try to insulate or confer a cardioprotective benefit for these young, healthy men. And because they're young and because they're healthy, they can then, if you protect the heart during the dangerous persistent phase of the disease, when the immune system is doing its job, trying to clear the virus, uh, these young folks can fully recover and go on to live a perfectly normal life. In the absence of that cardioprotective effect, um, it can lead to uh, very unfortunate outcomes and the development of heart failure, which can become a lifelong condition. Yeah, which is heart damage, essentially. Yeah. David, I guess I wish I could talk more about this. It's such a short time. So where can I go find out more information about, of course, the therapy, about this disease and, and making sure that, you know, we're, we're getting the treatments that we need? Uh, myocarditis uh, is certainly widely covered uh, in the general media. So it has been reported as a rare but troubling complication of mRNA vaccination concepts. Uh, that is typically a mild form of myocarditis, but the result of that has been uh, it's cast a spotlight on this uh, deadly disease, and it's really put a wind behind the sails of our efforts to develop new treatments. Certainly the uh, most informative uh, uh, information on cardiotherapeutics can be found at cardiolrx.com, which is our website. Uh, all the information on our studies uh, is contained there, including the teams and advisors from around the world that we're so fortunate to be working with uh, in developing this new, uh, what we hope to be a life-saving drug. Wow, David, this is such an important thing. I'm so glad we were talking about it and, and getting the word out there. And, and hopefully this comes to market very soon to help uh, men under 35. This is, that's the crazy thing about it. So thanks for joining us this morning. No, thank you for having us and for your interest in our work.